Criminals have pulled off some unsettling attacks recently in the UK and North America. Britain's National Health Service says hackers behind a ransomware attack have followed through on their threat to publish confidential data. The attack has disrupted services at several large hospitals here in London. And in North America, 15,000 car dealerships are handling transactions using pen and paper. Back-to-back -back cyber attacks on the sales software provider CDK Global. AI threatens to give hackers easier access to tools like misinformation, phishing and deep fakes. According to the IT security company Okta, business leaders are worried. Its new survey shows half of them feel only somewhat prepared to fend off AI-driven attacks, and 14% consider them AI experts. Todd McKinnon is the CEO of Okta. He joins me from San Francisco. You know, when I heard, when, <clears throat> when I heard and when our, our producers heard you were on the programme tonight, everyone was thoroughly delighted. I mean, we all, we're using Okta. It seems to be, you know, no, no moment of the day is complete without having been verified by you in some shape or form. And I suspect it's going to have to get a lot more of that if we're going to be safe under AI. Yeah, absolutely. We have over 19,000 enterprises around the world that rely on Okta. And the, what we do for them is identity management. So anytime a person needs to connect to a business application that an employee right. to do their job or a customer needs to connect to a website to help them log in and get a great user experience, we do that. And we power it for great companies like CNN, sure. but also FedEx and Wyndham Hotels and uh, they all are, have this challenge of they want to make things easy when the, the people logging in are the right people and right. they, so, they want to prevent so why, it when the threat actors are logging in. So why will AI make cybersecurity worse, in your view? Well, the first thing it's going to do is it's this amazing technology wave that's going to lead to a whole new round of amazing applications and capabilities, and whether it's your mobile device getting way more capable or it's amazing chatbots like ChatGPT from OpenAI, we're all gonna have way more technology, which is good, but that also has to be secured and the threat actors are gonna migrate and try to take advantage of those things. And one of the common things they do now we see is that they fake uh, fake voices, they fake uh, videos to, to get past security checks and that's a big problem. So to, that, to the extent that you are on the front line in a sense, in this attack and, and, and identity verification. Is your job getting harder because of it? The job, it's an important job and it, it's, it's, you know, the, the stakes are raising all the time. There's so much more information, so much more power in these applications and information is, is driving the whole economy. So the stakes are very high. We see 2 billion malicious attempts at our customers every month. Uh, and we block those for our customers and our customers benefit from that. Uh, and as more applications get built and more capabilities get built into the fabric of businesses and consumer lives, that, that the stakes right. will rise and we'll keep, keep continuing what we're doing. But it, what always gets the feeling it's just a question of time. It's a question of when, not if. So, for instance, I think my email account one of uh, work was suddenly I got hundreds of phishing emails from the same place. Hundreds, all within the space of a few hours, which, of course, easily in a, a moment of weakness I could have clicked on. But one has to be at a level of vigilance that I wonder whether that's possible, Tom. Yeah, I think, a, you know, there is a requirement or it's better if users are more vigilant and more knowledgeable of what's going on. And certainly they become more knowledgeable of phishing, but it's not perfect. I think the big thing is, is companies providing technology or companies in the cybersecurity industry being more reactive and responding to when the inevitable happens quickly with open communication and uh, clear impacts of what was impacted so users have the full story quickly. Ransomware is amongst the most um, nefarious, insidious, because you just don't know whether to pay or not. Uh, it's very easy to take the moral high ground and say don't pay when it's not your information or data that could be leaked, isn't it, or compromised? Yeah, I mean, the reason why it's rising in, in terms of the attack patterns is because it is such a hard decision to make for companies. They're dealing with decisions about shutting down, having their business be shut down, having the 
their people they serve with their products and services being impacted. And it, it is a tough decision. I think the more we can put defenses in place proactively up front, the more we can prevent those situations from happening. As a man from Okta, who's probably nigh on paranoid when it comes to the issues of, and I mean that in the nicest possible way, when it comes to issues of cyber security, do you, how do you, sir, you, balance the requirements of cybersecurity with AI's potential for the future? Where, where do you see well, the I, balance in general, of opportunity? I'm, uh... Yeah, I think in general, I think the right approach is to, for myself, is to be a technology optimist. Right. I think that technology has done a lot of amazing things in the world and it will continue okay. to do more amazing things. But that has to be balanced with a dose, maybe you know, two or three doses of pragmatism in terms of right. uh, how fast you use new capabilities, the steps you take to be vigilant and lock those down as you do use them. Uh, so I think it's a good balance, but let's not let's not forget the the good things that technology has done and the great potential for our companies and for our organizations going forward if we use it correctly. Please make my day, sir. Have you ever been locked out of Okta? Well, I get pretty good uh, customer support here from my own internal IT team. <laughs> um, so when it happens, it's 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 cleared up pretty quickly. I'll take that as a yes. Join the club, sir. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Todd McKinnon. Thanks for having me. Okta. Right.